Robert Whittaker absolutely dominated that fight. I don't know how some people gave Vittori that first round. Watch back that first round again. You'll see that Vittori, although he was throwing more volume, Robert Whittaker was evading a lot of his shots. Like, look at the jabs and crosses that he was throwing. Whittaker avoided all of them. Well, not all of them, but he dodged the majority of them. Whittaker was actually landing the more effective strikes in round one. Watch round one back again, I'm telling you. He was winning that round. So I don't know how people said Marvin Vittori won it. He was using his cross well. He was using his jab well. Vittori looked a bit frustrated. You might not believe that, but he was. Vittori had Robert Whittaker on the back foot. But although he was on the back foot, he was still able to land effectively. That should have been the opposite. He should have been able to get him against the cage and try and control him. But that's not what happened. And then you go to round two. We saw the opposite. Whittaker started putting pressure on him. Put him on the back foot. Showed him how to do it properly. He put him on the back foot. He started landing a lot of combinations to his head. Some front kicks to the body. Crosses to the head. And in my opinion, the crosses was his best thing he did today. Every time he'd throw a cross, it looks like it would land right on the bridge of the nose. Just like Usyk against Joshua. Just hitting him right on like the middle part of the nose. He would catch him every single time. And Vittori didn't know how to respond. He was too static. There was no movement, which is why Whitaker was able to do it the way he did. And that's why, that's the difference between good and bad pressure fighters. I'm not calling Vittori bad, but when you're talking about pressure fighters, you cannot compare him. In my opinion, he could fight Adesanya again and potentially beat him. That performance reminded me of Volkanovski against Holloway. Total obliteration, some people would say. He just dominated that fight from start to finish. Second round, yes, he was putting the pressure on him, but he landed the combinations, unlike Vittori in round one. He was trying to throw combinations, couldn't land them in round one because he had good head movement, Robert Whittaker. That's the problem with Vittori. He didn't have good head movement, so it didn't allow him to like dodge or counter strike him. That's what he should have done. He should have tried to counter strike Robert Whittaker, but it didn't work because he, round one, he tried to pressure him, didn't work. So then the second round, Robert Whittaker taught him how to do it. And it worked. He started cutting him up, damaging him. When Vittori got Robert Whittaker against the cage, he didn't do anything with it. Because every time he would do it, it just seemed like Robert Whittaker was stronger than him. He would push him off and then he'd move off the cage. And that is probably why we are going to see him fight a light heavyweight. Because he's just shown he's strong enough to be there. I've changed my mind. He actually is. Look at the way how... Most middleweights cannot do that. If Vittori's got you against the cage, you are not just bouncing off like it's nothing. But because Robert Whittaker is so strong and is potentially a light heavyweight, he was able to bounce off the cage and get back into striking range. And round three, this is where we saw the dominant performance. This is where we saw all the combinations. We saw the jabs he landed well, the crosses. He was landing a hook cross, lead leg kick. Then he was doing a head kick to the head, started cutting him up and he rocked him I think with a hook and he blasted him with a knee to his forehead that cut him and then you could see that he had blood along his cheekbone, just total domination. So it went to the judges scorecards, yes I would agree it was 30-27 but I don't know how you could give him 29-28 because like I said before he tried to pressure him but didn't land, he just tried to land loads of volume and if you look at the striking stats I might be wrong I don't think there was that much difference in the first round because he didn't land anything. He might have landed the odd strike, but Robert Whittaker was moving out the way of a lot of his punches. So I don't think that was that impressive to me from Vittori. And then in the second and third, you saw what happened. He just got dominated. He used leg kicks well as well, but that didn't really affect Vittori because he is static and static fighters just want to brawl. And he couldn't brawl because Robert Whittaker put in a very good performance. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of Robert Whittaker's performance? Do you think he could beat Adesanya if he fought him again? Personally, I believe, yes, he will beat Adesanya if he fought him the third time. Maybe, actually. Do you think he could beat Alex Bahia? And I'll just quickly go into this. He would definitely beat Alex Bahia. I know his chin might be an issue with that, but we saw against Vittori, he was able to eat some of his strikes, although Vittori didn't land that much. But if that's Pahea, he's getting him down and controlling him. And he's about to fight Adesanya. And I believe Robert Whittaker would beat Alex Pahea. Because the middleweights in that division, in my opinion, they're not that good. A lot of them are just basic fighters. You've got some people who are good. You've got Adesanya, Whittaker. Vittori's good, but he just showed today 
He's not the top level. He's almost there, but he's not a champion yet. He's not ready for that. And then you've got people like Robert Whittaker. You've got good people upcoming. You've got, what's his name? Driscus Duplessis. But I don't know if he'll ever be champion. The middleweight division, in my opinion, is one of the worst divisions in the UFC right now, skill-wise. Because I just don't see that much talent in there. You've got the odd few fighters, and then the rest just make it look bad. Like, just to look at that Nasadim Imavov against Yaquin Buckley. He was all right, but then he started to fade in the later rounds and he was getting caught and getting blitzed in the third round. Could have got finished in that. If there was an extra round, I think Buckley would have won that fight. But enough into that. Robert Whittaker put in a very good performance. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Robert Whittaker could beat Israel Adesanya?